The biggest lies we were taught in school. The 13 colonies. The American flag has 13 stripes to represent the original 13 colonies of the United States. But in all actuality, there were only 12 colonies. This is because Delaware was never a separate colony, but in fact it remained part of Pennsylvania, owned by William Penn up until the Revolutionary War. Abraham Lincoln opposed slavery. Lincoln was ambiguous about his views on slavery and only wanted to take actions that would strengthen the Union in a time of national strife and separatism. In fact, Lincoln had stated, if I could save the Union without freeing any slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would also do that. What I would do about slavery and the colored race, I do because I believe it helps save the Union. Van Gogh's Ear after reviewing historical records and letters, Hans Kaufmann believes that Van Gogh did not cut off his own ear, but rather lost it in a fight. Allegedly, Van Gogh threw a wine glass at Gauguin, and he promptly unsheathed his sword and made quick work of Van Gogh's ear. It's believed that they both made up the story of Van Gogh slicing himself up to save Gauguin from jail time. Human Evolution in a scientific theory where the strong survive and the weak are eliminated, if humans had evolved directly from ancient ape species, there would no longer be any apes left, as humans would have won the survival lottery. There are still apes, which lends to the theory that all great apes share a common ancestor. But at some point in time, the ancestors evolved in separate directions from one another. Thanksgiving the tale of pilgrims and Native Americans sharing a life-saving feast during a harsh autumn is, of course, a heartwarming one. But the only thing that was actually shared between the pilgrims and natives was the plague, which effectively killed off 96% of the native population. It is believed that the pilgrims were aware of the effects of their deadly disease and utilized this knowledge so that they could swoop in and steal the natives' crops and land. Christopher Columbus a lot of the stories regarding Christopher Columbus are not true, but most importantly, he did not discover that the Earth was round, and he did not have to convince the Spaniards that he would not fall off the face of the Earth on his attempted voyage to Asia. The Greeks already knew that the Earth was round, about 2,000 years before Spain even existed. The Spaniards didn't want to fund Columbus's trip because he was severely underestimating the size of the Earth. In short, they thought he was an idiot. Archduke Ferdinand It is commonly thought that the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand was the catalyst for starting World War I. While Gavrilo Princip did shoot the Archduke, his actions were simply the final straw in a war that was long time coming. While no historians can actually pinpoint the exact cause of World War I, they do agree that entangled alliances of Western Europe and Pan-Slavism in the East may have set the entire war in motion. And while taking a shot at an Archduke is not exactly the smartest idea, this single incident did not drag the world into a bloody war. Vomitoriums a vomitorium is the tunnel between seats in an amphitheater. The story is that these tunnels were called such because the Romans were a hedonistic bunch that considered it a sign of affluence to gorge themselves on food until they threw up from it, and the vomitorium was the designated place to show just how affluent of a Roman one was. However, the word vomitorium is derived from the Latin word vomir, which translates as to spew forth, but it is not referring to the purging of stomach contents. It refers to the exit of people from the stadium, as the vomitorium are designed to provide a rapid departure from a venue. George Washington Carver Carver was an amazing man who made numerous agricultural advances, including over 300 uses for peanuts, in an attempt to salvage the dying cotton farming industry in Alabama due to a boll weevil infestation, but he did not invent peanut butter. Peanut butter has been in existence since the Aztecs, and the first patent on peanut butter was given to Marcellus Gilmore Edson as a way to fortify a patient's diet with more protein when they were rendered incapable of chewing.